destroys her face, but she can do Now, if you're in Hackney and you want a genuinely eccentric English experience, come and check out Victor Wynne's Museum of Curiosity at number 11, Mayor Street. Had you loved me, if a shining ray of love should warm the darkness of my life, the first throb of my grief-stricken soul would be a happy rhapsody. My name is Victor Wynne, and the hope is to get the whole world into a little box. These are the preserved front bottoms of Victorian prostitutes collected by a Glaswegian surgeon. Cute grief. A well-used vagina. I, Victor Wynne, do most solemnly swear that I witnessed Amy Winehouse pooing into this jar on the 25th of November No 2000. way. Seriously, that is hers. Come downstairs, you pass the mermaid Hi. at the bottom of the... How are you? Late. I'm well. We haven't started yet. Have a grass off. I love the fairies, because you're always finding a fairy in a corner doing something naughty. There's an artist called Tessa Farmer who makes these little fairies. So here, for example, the fairies are releasing a vial of clothes moths. Napoleon's death mask. Then we move to Sebastian Horsley. Those are the nails that he used when he crucified himself. There's so many weird and wonderful things but that you've actually never seen before. But there's something for everyone. You're actually quite speechless. A shrunken head from the Amazon. Magical soap from the thieves market in Mexico City. I honestly think it's this is the weirdest place that I've ever been. Have a silkworm. Okay, marvellous. In for a penny. The largest egg in the world that was laid by the extinct elephant bird in Madagascar. Next door we've got the sarcophagus with the human skeleton. You can rent that for dinner parties and you can also rent it for intimate moments. If you're having an intimate moment, we ask you not to put too much pressure on the table. <laughs> Incidentally, these Chinese dildos, you can hire them by the hour. Oh my good lord. It's only open from Wednesday till Sunday, but you've really got to see it to believe it. He's totally bonkers. He belongs in some sort of gothic novel or something. Indeed, the guileful hesitations would no longer dare to show their crafty face. You would be found and amid divine visions, rose blossoms would have adorned the bramble of life had you loved me. It feels like I've just woken up from some sort of weird dream.